My name is Kofi Ander. I first visited LSI in February of 2019. You see, at the time, my family and I were going through a number of challenges. I had um, lost my job after about 12 years working in the international um, sector. And um, we returned to Ghana, and for a year, I couldn't find a job. So we're in a pretty dark place at the time. My first impression of LSI was that this was a congregation that prayed a lot. My second impression was that LSI had a choir that sang very, very well. I did not intend to join LSI at the time. But for some reason, I kept coming back. The key reason I kept coming back then was that Papa was beginning a series on how to pray using the Lord's Prayer as a template. And I wanted to get serious, a lot more serious with my prayer life. You see, after so many years working in the international sector, I had lost my job. We had come back. We could, I couldn't find something to do. And my finances were stretched, quite frankly. So after losing my job in South Africa, I had taken my employers to the employment tribunal in South Africa, and I won the first round there. But they successfully appealed, and on some technicalities, got the case um, dismissed in South Africa. That forced me to sue in Amsterdam, uh, in the Netherlands. So at that time, I'm without a job, and I'm having to pay lawyers in South Africa and in the Netherlands. That was crazy. That was expensive. That was difficult. But I had a case, I believed, and so I fought it. Over the period of two years from when the, case, the legal cases began, this, as I said, was a difficult time. The um, other side was using all sorts of technicalities to stretch the case out. And then I came to LSI. And I started praying with LSI. And eventually, my family and I committed to join LSI. And so we started coming more regularly. And even in the midst of that, those difficulties, one of the things that we committed to do as a family was to tithe regularly on whatever little funds we had. We tithed without fail every month. And I can say from my personal experience that when we fulfill our obligations to God, when we fulfill our obligations to the house, God listens and God replenishes. He replenishes what we have given to him. You see, around this time, I was picking up a lot of lessons. We had prophecies from Papa on the family. And we also had revelations as a family. Now, one of the revelations I remember very distinctly, sitting in one service, was basically a question, why am I fighting so hard in court when I have asked God to fight the battle on my behalf? So I spent about two weeks meditating on this and praying over it. And then I called up my lawyer in the Netherlands and I told him, settle this case. I'm not going to fight any longer. It was a step of faith because I needed the money, quite frankly, but also because the other side could use it against me. It took about three weeks for them to respond to my lawyer's um, approach, my lawyer's questions to them. But then they responded positively. And the discussions began on a settlement agreement between the lawyers. A couple of months after that, in February of last year, 20, sorry, February of 2020, it's last year, 2020. LSI was moving towards first food at the end of uh, fast, uh, annual fast. I'd never in my life um, participated in first foods. And um, as Papa taught about first foods, I also did some my research. I read about it, read the Bible a lot about first foods. And I think my challenge was that my interpretation of what I was reading was that first foods 
was something that I had to contribute from my earnings, my income, and I wasn't working. So I did what I do in times like this. I prayed about it and I meditated. And I had a strong conviction in me that I had to take part in first fruits, even if I wasn't earning anything. Whatever I was getting, I had to contribute um, to my first fruits. And so I did. And I challenged God to fulfill his words to me because I was taking a leap of faith, as the, you know, a, a, a lot of, I was placing a lot of trust in him. So I asked him to fulfill his words to me. Two days after I committed in my heart to contribute to the first fruits, I received um, um, an email from an organization that I had never applied to, asking me if I was interested in a position that they were recruiting for. In the space of three or four weeks, I had two other organizations that I had not applied to contact me about positions that they were recruiting for and that they wanted to consider me for. Now think about it, I had gone for two years applying to jobs all over and getting all sorts of ridiculous responses, but nothing positive. And two days after I commit to pay my first fruits, I have, I start to receive expressions of interest, for want of a better word, from organizations that I did not even apply to. Long and short of it is that in the middle of COVID-19, in the middle of the pandemic, I started it, my, my first job in over two years. I started that in, um, in May of 2020. And by the end of June of 2020, barely two months later, I accepted a new position as well. So in the midst of the crisis, when companies were letting staff go, were trimming their workforce, I had two job offers in the middle of the crisis. Now, to me, this was God at work. This was a miracle. These were jobs I didn't apply for. These were opportunities that only came up when I committed to participate, to partake in the first fruits. The miracles that I have seen from God and from my commitment to Him have been many. They've been many. My experience in all of this is simply this. We have a commitment to, to God. We have a responsibility to God and to the church. When we fulfill our responsibilities, God answers our prayers. He answers our prayers in ways that we will not even imagine. And in all of this to me, I can only thank my association with LSI for leading me to, these, to this knowledge. And so as we, come, as, I, as we come to the end of this, as I think back over the two years or so that I've been in LSI, the things, the lessons I have learned include the power of prayer, learning how to pray, but also fulfilling my commitment, my financial commitments to the house, fulfilling my financial commitments to God and trusting God to fulfill his word to me, his promises to me, when I fulfill my commitments to him. I made a number of vows which I have been keeping. One of the vows I made in the darker days was that when I found a job, when God gave me a job, I was going to give my testimony to LSI. Today I'm fulfilling that vow. Another vow I made was that when God restores to me all that is lost, I'm going to dance in front of LSI. So watch this piece. I'm trusting that God is going to cause me to dance here in front of everybody. Thank you and God bless you.